Hello, I am the Summoner of Robots, and joining me today is this 3D printed monstrosity. Now, here you will probably see some pictures of it in the printing process. You won't see any video, because I didn't take any. Um, but I printed this on my new-ish Creality Ender 3. Um, it took 40 hours, and it weighs... Come on, scale. It weighs 518 grams, which with filament costing $30 per kilogram, it that means it cost me $15.54. Yes, I can definitely do math that well. I wasn't looking at my phone at all. What are you talking about? Um, but as you can see, it's a bit of a mess, and there's also a lot of support material that needs to be removed, so I'm gonna be doing that. So I've got the pump press fit in here and it seems quite tight, so I think that'll be good. And then the hose is also a press fit to the um, the pipe upwards. You just kinda, this is a test pearl I printed, you just kinda stuff it in there and it stays quite well. Okay, so I did some stuff while you were looking. You should really pay attention better. I mean, seriously, you missed me sealing up the pump and the hose inputs, doing all the wiring, and printing the last two dishes that I hadn't printed. So now really all that's left to do is to stick these dishes on and give it a test. So this one is the first dish. It's got a hole for the water to come up through, so it just kinda slides on there. And then, one of these is the second dish, we'll put it there, and then we'll put the third dish here. That one's a bit loose, I might have to glue it. I wonder if it'll fit better there. I'll just leave it. And then the last dish goes here. Take some amount of force. Okay. And now all I need is some water. Okay, I've got water. This desk is slightly tilted, which worries me a little bit. So I think I'm actually gonna shim this side up with some sandpaper to get it a bit more level. And then, just add water. This maybe is filled a bit too high. Okay, let's try that. I may have to add some more. So it doesn't really... It doesn't really squirt out the top. It used to squirt, but it went way too high and splattered everywhere. Um, so I drilled the hole slightly larger, and now it doesn't squirt at all, but it doesn't look bad. And the nice thing is, with this way, it actually gives you laminar flow all the way down once it fills up the dishes. So just gonna sit here and wait now.
Yeah, okay, I think that's it. Bye.